And gentlemen, today you guys are going to be making a uh, Halloween inspired uh, card for somebody. So this is the template that you've been given to work with. This is an, um, a Photoshop project. And you'll notice first if you go to the drawing layer and you choose a bright yellow color and you start to draw. I've applied some effects for you so you can uh, use those effects. As long as you're on the drawing layer, then those effects will apply. And if you want to play around with those effects, just double click on the effects panel. And you can see there's a bunch of other options you could play with. Some of them are checked. Those are the ones that I've already applied. And there's a bunch of settings on them. If you check another one, come in here and click on the words and you'll be able to see the other options that you can uh, play around with. The next thing is, uh, if you go to the text layers, you go to the text tool. You can type in different things here, and you can even choose different fonts up at the top here and different colors. And if you, uh, you see that it has a glow on it, if you want to change that glow, you go to the effects layer here, double click, and you see the one that says outer glow, click on the words outer glow, and you can uncheck it if you don't want that effect, and you can check it if you do. And you can change the color right here, how intense it is, you can have it spread out further have it go the size be a lot more whatever you want to do you could do something spooky like blood or something like that if you want to and just choose a cool font that would work well with that same thing at the bottom if you want to write um, more of the message the background right now is black and feel free to change it to some other image if you prefer to and then let's take a look at how you can add some other cool things like maybe a spooky ghost i'm going to go to a website called pixabay.com and I'm going to look up ghost. And if you go into color and you choose transparent background, apply. Then we can also check and say, instead of images, let's look up illustrations. And there's our first spooky boast. Now be careful. This sponsored images section, this is iStock. It's not going to work. It's trying to get you to pay money. This is the royalty free illustrations that we want. So if I click on it and then I click download, then it downloads it. So now let's go into our downloads folder, find the spooky ghost and stick them in here. And it's the layer I want them. So I can just kind of push them back here, resize it, maybe rotate it. He's poking out behind the pumpkin. There we go. If you want to use uh, Google instead, the nice thing about Pixabay is these are royalty-free images, so they are you're allowed to use it in whatever graphic design project you want. You don't have to pay anything. But if I look up spooky ghost illustration images, set the uh, tools to color, transparent, then you should see that they have a checkered box around them. If they don't, it's not going to work. But let's see if this one does. Sometimes it says it does, it doesn't. Though. You can't copy and paste them because if you try to, you'll end up with um, a black background. So instead, save the image by right-clicking on it. Don't save it from here. Save it over here where you see the checkered boxes. Save image as. Put it in your downloads folder if, if you want to. I don't really care where you put it just make sure you pay attention to where you put it then once again if I go in here and I drag that ghost in then we have our second spooky ghost that we can use wherever we want to and then again feel free to you know change the background you can resize things right now the um, drawing right here is not it's not gonna work if you do that so you'll have to uh, take these two layers and select them at the same time by holding down shift. I think you can also hold down control to do that. Yeah. And then if you do a control T to resize, it'll resize them. So you could put your own stuff in there, put a haunted house or something like that as well. Uh, that's pretty much it. When you're done, just um, export it as a PNG. Make sure you stick your name on it and put it in the Creative Cloud folder and attach that to Classroom.